All right, it is, like we said, a best of three here in the semifinals for the Corsair Cup. If you guys like this tournament, you like seeing it every single week, we make it happen even if we've got other things we have to cast. That being said, the best way to support them and support us consequently is to scroll down here on the channel, click those links to the Corsair website, and check out their gear. Obviously, buying some would make everybody happy, but just checking it out and looking at their website, those clicks mean a lot, guys. In the bottom right, though, to kick off this cast, it's going to be the Blue Zerg player, Team Liquid's TLO. In the top left, as the <laughs> Red Zerg, it is Bly. Uh, go figure, Bly, uh, with the choice to go pull first. Even if it isn't like a 12 pull, still. Rely on Bly to go for the early pool. If only there's somewhere to rhyme that. Actually, that would just be a good slogan. I know there's the Bly on fire thing, but just like hashtag rely on Bly. <laughs> That's actually, yeah, I, I like so. that. I like the way that sounds. Uh, thank you to Nebercoronius for subscribing. It's great. Nailed it. Thank you. I did nail it. <laughs> Multiple friends. Yeah, brand new sub. Hype. Of course, thank you as well to Passive Crimes, Hello Zirkling, and any others who have subbed recently. I know our, our sub shoutouts have been a bit lackluster of recent, but please know we still love you all. Now, uh, TLO is a player who I really love seeing, but unfortunately, as fun as I have seeing him both in real life and in game, he never seems to have the best ZVZs, unfortunately. Oftentimes, finding players like a Laser and Guru and others to be his uh, downfall. His downfall, yeah. Yeah, that is true. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say Bly 2-1, uh, but we will see how TLO's early game defense is and really be able to tell. It feels kind of odd going back to the old maps, by the way. Only the casting for six hours. I know. I I really liked some of the new ones, New Gettysburg and some of the others. But this is uh, just the standard map pool. Now it's worth noting, live now. So again, like an hour and a half ago, this wasn't the case. But live now on the ladder is going to be King Sejong Station and Frost replacing Freon Terraces and Coral Carnage Knockout. Um, shouldn't affect this much. There's still the old map pool here, but going forward in future weeks, we will be matching the ladder pool to the tournament. But, uh, these links are really aggressive out of Bly and almost get a couple of drones, but really this is a small amount of links. This is not dangerous, I feel. No, no. Actually surprising that Bly went in so quickly with those, only to be denied so easily, but... I guess the real power is not in that little bit of a ling attack, but in the follow-up of faster speed which is still a ways away from finishing. So not too surprising to see Bly go for a faster lair too as well. So if he's not like early pulling and really dedicating to it, then it is typically going to be that Spire. And it's also going to be the same thing for TLO. Now, TLO might be going for a Roach Warren Spire, or a Roach Warren lair rather than a Spire lair. And in fact, there goes the Roach Warren right now. And to really, I mean, it seems to happen a lot on Frozen Temple. One person goes for the wall, because you can wall off on this map, uh, as TLO is doing. And then the other person goes for the Spire, and the Roach person tries to kill him before they get to the Spire, and it's a short distance, so maybe they can, maybe they can't. And then the game's decided, usually, by then. But see if that's the exact way it goes here. I'll take advantage of the links in the middle of the map. Bly is going to find a full wall off, and that... <laughs> That should be a pretty harsh stop to what's going on here. I can't imagine he breaks this too easily. I love this move out of TLO. It's a bit of an old school way to hold this, but it will, in fact, hold it. Mm. Uh, actually, he seems kind of paranoid. Uh, to have a second evolution chamber uh, absolutely block it off instead of just the queen. Oh, he really does not want to chance even a Ling skirting pass because it's not going to be Roaches. Like, no, it is going to be Spire. Spire, yeah. So, like, a Roach into Spire play, we see that all the time in Dusk Towers, right? But off the back of, like, three bases in a mid game where the Roaches are pretty, pretty safe. But this is kind of a mix. It's early. There's not, like, a ton of minerals and gas to be thrown around here. Oh, Bly is going to get in and see this, too. That's pretty big. Well, oh, it. If Tilo tries to block with drones, you know something's up. Yeah, five spines coming down on the other side of the map, but he should be able to cancel them upon realizing what's going on. He won't need those spine crawlers if it comes to Muta versus Muta fights. In fact, wasting the minerals there could hurt his Muta count overall. Getting a couple of drones here and there, trying to do what he can for damage. I mean, okay, that kind of sucks, but uh, I think the Spire getting Skeddo was probably the best part of that attack. Yeah, absolutely. And Tilo really did not want it to happen. So kudos to Bly for forcing, basically, the issue. Uh, now, what does this mean? I mean, first of all, Bly doesn't waste, as you said, signature minerals on spine crawlers and, and being too defensive and just losing out that way. 
It also means that the carapace upgrade is actually going to be chosen correctly from Bly. Uh, TLO yeah. probably has an idea that it's a spire from Bly, by the way. He hasn't confirmed it, but oh, maybe I'm wrong. He goes for a fire attack. Yeah, with how many lings have been in play, it should be obvious that it's something in this direction. But he also, and I hate to say this because it's Bly, but he may be thinking, oh, typical Bly, just trying to all in me. Just wait till I get my mutas out and I'll defend, I'll defeat you. But <laughs> no, Bly yeah, has a plan that's... B, and this is looking bad for TLO. Even before the uh -oh. mutas are spawned, these drones are going down to these lings. I guess the trickery has really not just not worked, but it's also significantly backfired for TLO, who after losing this many drones is just gonna tap out. Yeah. <clears throat> Game number one gonna go to Bly. But as we said, guys, oops, yeah, the green screen is messed up. Uh, these are replays. We're not trying to hoodwink you or bamboozle you. Um, let me get map number two up here. Oh, uh, there we go. Watch with others. Luckily, Olivia did this in like a spoiler-free manner, so I actually just got confused on which map I was supposed to make. But I see how she did it. There we go. Clever. So you know who's watching. Hmm? All right, come back in the game. There's a bit of a ping, but also an early pool coming out of Mr. Dario down here. In the bottom left side of the map, he's down one game at the moment. It is going to be TLO. <laughs> On a similar fashion in the top left as the Red Zerg, it is Bly. Oh, TLO, don't you know? You don't try an early pool, Bly. This is like the one part of the game he really has down pat. Yeah, well, usually, so... It might be the surprise. I mean, this is the mind games that go on because Arena, you think early pool, obviously. So, really, you think defense, obviously, because they're going to mind game you and then you. Obviously. Them, and, then, and then just mind games everywhere, right? But what's unfortunately going to happen is that both of them are going to collide in the middle of the map with a little, like a couple of differences, of course. Bly went for gas, TLO did not. Yep. It's one thing to have speed as an advantage, but if Bly gets a single bailing out and TLO has no speed, no bailings himself, that's where this game falls apart. He tries to take a natural base, but this the way he's gone about doing this pool almost feels like it's its not entirely meant to be aggressive, but more just like a way to fight Bly, knowing he would also go for an early pool, but not correctly gauging the variety of pool. In fact, the spine car coming down kind of cements what I was thinking. Hmm. I think that's off the side too, just in case Lings came in here early to try and snipe it. Because of course, with the lack of a hatch rate, TLO knows something mysterious is up. But yeah, that Baneling nest might really mix things up. Now you can, actually if TLO, I'm surprised TLO didn't just go for the defense to be honest, like not his own early pool, just for the like the defense into queen defense, into like roach defense type of deal that we see on arena to counter such early plays with Lings. Yeah, but... all the time too. Yeah, all the time. So it's going to be a different way to do it. It's still going to be around the same ideas, I would say, like get a spine crawler to help out, maybe get queens, uh, and just hold on with kind of basic units, oh. but hopefully a few more basic units. But it's just it's not it's not on the on the head of a much better economy yet. <laughs> it's like two full wall offs. That's kind of cute. I like that actually. It mm. buys a uh, quite a bit of time, better than the struggle of lings fighting against other lings, anyways. But. Bailing's being morphed in plain sight, and TLO does have a spine crawler with a queen or two out to go with this. He could focus fire them down, but there's no speed, no gas, and this is going to be a very tough fight for somebody who opened the way he did. Mm. More reinforcements from Bly are necessary because he needs to really just tear down the spine crawler as quick as possible with transfuse, possibly being prepared. A second spine crawler actually already on the way too. It needs to be quick and hopefully painless it might for be him. Too close. I think the Bailing's can take up both. Mm, they're kind of trying, yeah. Works out pretty well. Ah, it's a good transfuse out of TLO, but will that be enough? He does hold this initial attack pretty decently, but I mean, there's no lings of his own to fight with. He has no banelings, certainly, to speak of. Those banelings are going to crash into the spine. Transfuse is going mm -hmm. into it once again. TLO is taking a surprisingly good fight, but he's out of units. He's out of juice. He has 10 more lings of the way as well. Two more queens if one of the main is about to pop as well. He might just have this held. Bly's reinforcement line is taking a while to get here. And Bly, mm -hmm. I mean, he didn't cut a lot for this but he is down a hatch rate so yes it's not just about taking like a small leap here he really has to get a well a kill on the hatchery or something minimal yeah yeah and I, I think he's really gonna try and go into the main knowing that the queens are no longer blocking it out a decent baneling hit the other one gets three okay queens are no longer uh an issue they do block the ramp once again tilo that's mm, that's pretty solid but the hatchery is still uh, a target for bly one that if he tears tear down it would probably be an okay macro game Mm. Hacking and mm. whacking and smacking. Hacking and a little worrying. Tilo can't really do very much to save this. Ten more links, twelve more links in the way, but Bane Lings 
Uh, severe counter. Another spine crawler gets finished up. Trying to transfer that down, but too late. Oh, the hatchery's so low. He doesn't finish it to keep the broodlings from spawning. That's not a bad choice at all. Bailey's gonna get hit hits on the lings as well as the spine crawler, but at this point, it might just be too far gone. <laughs> Holding on for dear life. He should get the hatchery and walk away. Yeah. Just walk away. All right, so Bly is gonna try and start macroing. He's got drones on the way. Of course, he already has huge tech advantages, so he is absolutely ahead right now. And uh, Tilo really can't threaten a counterattack unless he, like, brings queens and spine crawlers with him. Macro hardly knows the definition of the word. <laughs> uh, still no base, but of course, Bly almost at the 300 minerals. And uh, Tilo, I mean, I think he's, like, assessing the situation, just realizing that there's probably nothing he can do. I mean, yeah. 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 All right, so Bly actually, <laughs> we prayed quick. for we prayed for a quick first semifinals. We got a quick first semifinals. <laughs> Woo. All right, so we're gonna go to a break. Before we do that, though, um, where's where's this this bloody thing at YouTube? So here's what we'll do, guys. We've been playing like regular Twitch commercials all day, and I'm sure some of you guys are bored of those by now. They've been crashing things. While we go load up the other semifinals, because I gotta grab those replays again. Everything's under being kind of spoiler free. Um, we're going to go load up a video Corsair did with us at DreamHack, actually. It's a pretty awesome video. It's actually even got Nathanius in there. It's a bit of like a howdy doody to that. So um, I guess enjoy, and we'll be back in a moment or two with the other semifinals to go ASAP. So again, word from our us slash our sponsors.